An Introduction to the Science of Hadith by Ibn Salah al-Shahrazuri, 577-643. The most influential work in the science of hadith ever. Category 22, Mixed Up Hadith, uh, Al-Maqloob. An example of a mixed up hadith would be, for instance, a hadith well known from Salim, which was made to be from Nafi', so that it would thereby become rare and desirable. Similar to this is the account we heard of Bukhari, God be pleased with him, his arrival into Baghdad. Before his class, some of the scholars of hadith met together and took 100 hadith and mixed up their texts and their isnads. They attached the text of one hadith to the isnad of another and the isnad of that text to another. Then they went to Bukhari's class and presented the hadith to him. When they finished presenting these mixed up hadith to him, Bukhari turned to them and restored each text to its proper isnad and each isnad to its text. They conceded his superiority. An example of this, and it also serves as an example of a defective hadith, Mu'allal, is the hadith we heard from Ishaq ibn Isa at taba He said that Jarir ibn Hazim informed us from Thabit from Anas that he said, the Messenger of God, peace be upon him, said, When the second call to prayer is given, do not stand up until you see me. Ishaq ibn Isa said, I went to Hamad ibn Zayd and asked him about that hadith. He said, Abu Nadar, Jarir ibn Hazim, was mistaken. We were all in the class of Thabit al-Bunani and Hajjaj ibn Abi Uthman was with us. Hajjaj al-Sawaf transmitted to us from Yahya ibn Abi Kathir, from Abdullah ibn Abi Tatada, from his father, the Messenger of God, peace be upon him, said, When the second call to prayer is given, do not stand up until you see me. Abu Nadar, that is Jarir ibn Hazim, thought that it was one of the hadith Thabit related to us from Anas. God knows best. Section we have now fulfilled our earlier promise to elucidate the types of weak hadith. God be praised. Let us now point out some important matters. 1. When you see a hadith with a weak isnad, you should say, this is weak, and mean that it is weak with that isnad. You should not say, this is weak, and merely on the basis of that weakness of that particular isnad, mean by this that the text is weak. For sometimes a hadith is also related with a sound isnad of the kind which establishes a hadith as sound. Rather, the permissibility of declaring a text to be weak rests on one of the authorities of hadith ruling that it was not related with an isnad which establishes it as sound or ruling that it is really a weak hadith or something similar to that and explaining the reason for impugning it. Some remarks will come. God, he is exalted willing about the case when an authority who makes a general declaration that a hadith is weak without providing an explanation. Note this, for it is an area which mistakes are made. God knows best. 2. In the opinion of the scholars of hadith and others, some laxity is tolerated in the provision of isnads and in the transmission of hadith from the various categories of weak hadith, with the exception of forged hadith, without bothering to explain their weakness. This applies in topics other than the characteristics of God he is exalted and legal rulings concerning the permitted and the forbidden and so forth. It is valid, for instance, for sermons, stories, the descriptions of the rewards associated with the performance of various religious acts and other types of hadith inspiring virtue, instilling fear and the hadith on other matters having no connection to legal rulings and theological issues. Abdurrahman ibn Mahdi and Ahmed ibn Hanbal, God be pleased with them, are some of those we heard from who totally forbade laxity in hadith like these. 3. If you want to relate a weak hadith without an isnad, do not use the Messenger of God said such and such or similar phrases that definitely indicate that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said those words. Instead, you should say it, it is related from the Messenger of God such and such. We read from him such and such. It is arrived from him. It came from him some of them related, or something similar to that. That is the way you should handle a hadith, the soundness and weakness of which you are in doubt. You should say, the messenger of God, peace be upon him, said, only for the hadith, the soundness of which has become clear to you in the way we elucidated above. God knows best. Stay tuned for many more parts.